In the end, the Cowboys just didn't have the horses to overcome the giant Jayhawks. OSU watched as all three of its big men fouled out in the second half of Thursday's quarterfinal against Kansas, the last of which being Marshall Moses with just under three minutes remaining. Still, the undersized Orange had an opportunity to topple the top seed, down by only one with 20 seconds remaining. Jean-Paul Alakimi's 24-footer at the buzzer came up just short, as did the Cowboys, 63-62 to Kansas. I thought we were a good team today. Um, I thought we were a, a, a very, a team that didn't just show up and played good, but a good team today. Um, you know, we're, we're outmatched in a lot of areas by Kansas. And I was really, really concerned would we have anything left after yesterday. Um, and we did. We, we showed some fight, but we, sh we played a good game. It wasn't that I, we forced Kansas into doing some things that we wanted them to do. I mean, it wasn't that they just played bad or anything. We were a good basketball team today. And if you didn't come out with that intensity, we was going to get embarrassed. And uh, we knew that, you know, we're not – we're as good as any team in America. And, uh, you know, when you think like that and you go out and showcase the talent, you know, hopefully other people across the world think the same thing. And, you know, we know – we believe in ourselves and understand how hard we had to play today. Uh, definitely we would have took that shot uh, any day of the week. Uh, but like I said, uh, we battled the, battled the whole game, battled through everything, battled through all the adversity, battled through foul trouble, battled through uh, the technical fouls. And like you said, we had a perfect, uh, perfect opportunity uh, to take the win at that last possession. Uh, ran a play that we had ran a couple times earlier in that game. Uh, it worked for us. And uh, we were just trying to get JP and come off a flat screen, get into the lane. Uh, we were in the bonus, so we would have took a foul or tried to get a good look at the rim. And uh, they played good defense, got their hand on the ball, and we just didn't get the shot we wanted. Oh, that's it's terrible for me. Um, I would have loved to have been in the game and maybe even gotten a chance to take that last shot. Or, you know, JP's a guy we want taking those kind of shots, being able to try to tip it in or, you know, something. But you know how the game went. Everybody's seen it. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be in there. Neither was Matt, neither was Slim. But uh, I had all the confidence in the world we were going to get a great shot. We got a good shot, not a great shot. And all the credit to Kansas, they played great defense at the end. I'm, I'm disappointed for these for our players. I'm very disappointed for them that they didn't get the win. You know, we as a coaching staff, I have more opportunities. Um, but these guys played hard today, and um, you know, Kansas I think is the best team in America. I said that earlier in the week. I think they are the best team in America, the best offensive team in America, and um, you know, for a team that has played the way we have played this year. Uh, and to be able to play like that, it's disappointing not to get the win. You know, you, could, you can sit back and say, well, at least you did this, you did that. But we're down. I mean, we're down. We, we expected to, to compete. We expected that today. If it's NIT, then we're going to go there with the expectations of winning. If we're an NCAA tournament type team as far as talent and things like that, uh, whether our record reflects it or not, and, um, I'm, I'm going to hold my head down. You know, I, Thank Coach for for you know considering me and the other senior seniors, but don't feel down for me because I'm in I'm in to win any kind of championship. You know I want to win any kind of game, and I just want to see my teammates get better and progress as people and basketball players. That's all I care about. So Oklahoma State will almost certainly be invited to the national invitational tournament. They'll find out who and where they'll play at eight o'clock on Sunday night. First round games begin on Tuesday and Wednesday. Reporting from the Big 12 Men's Championship here in Kansas City, David Fontenot, News OK Sports.